And, and by the way, what, what a great message for the country, right? Absolutely. Okay, D, we got a question for you from Mark Maskey of the Washington Post. For both of you, when, when you, you look at this relationship over the years and, 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 and trace it and, and, and everything that's happened, and then looking at it this year, you know, from the CBA through all that you dealt with to get through this season, how do you think that relationship has changed and evolved? And, and sort of related to that, Roger, do you expect the owners and the league to exercise their option for a 17-game regular season starting next season? Well, I mean, I'll start off. I mean, look, we've we've had our dust ups in the past. Um, I know it's hard. To, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're just a few. Um, but you know, this season it really took all of us um, to to get through this. And I'm really proud of the partnership that we have with the NFL. I'm proud of of Tom Mayer, Dr. Sills, um, Larry Ferrazani, um, uh, Sean Santaberry. Uh, look, between those four people alone. Um, they, they carried sort of the yeoman's weight of, of getting us here. Um, and, and we have a fantastic uh, business, a great game that we only are able to do together. So I think the way in which um, relationships evolve and progress, um, again, uh, using your words, I think the best days of the NFL are ahead of us. Yeah, I'd agree. Um, listen, you know, like any relationship, it evolves. Um, you know, we, we had to go back and it was 11 years ago, we were in a battle to get a new collective bargaining agreement. Uh, we worked our way through that. We signed a 10 year collective bargaining agreement and now we've sent, signed a 10 year extension. I think that may be the only time in the history of the NFL we've had that kind of a relationship. Yep. Uh, and that, that comes with growing pains and it comes with meeting challenges. But I think what I mentioned earlier is that we have worked together to find solutions and look past our differences and, and be able to find those solutions in an innovative way. Um, you know, we we are looking at the 17-game schedule. I think, Mark, that was part of your um, question. We've already agreed to that in the collective bargaining agreement. There's still more work to be done on that, but um, once the game is done, we'll turn our focus a little bit more to that. And, and even though we have the option, we're going to continue to talk about this. I talk with Dee about these issues all the time and making sure that the decisions we make here are done with a lot of input because I think one of the other things we've learned is that the input we had to one another last year, what I call the mini CBA, which last summer, which didn't feel like a mini CBA, but it, it, it the input for one another helped us. Uh, you know, we both found different solutions and, you know, together we were better for that ultimately. And so, yeah, we'll look at all the information we'll share thoughts um and we'll i'm sure come out a better place Very good all right well we're finished there and, and that was regarding the 17 game season idea, idea.